Welcome back to the channel everybody. So we're gonna be kicking off the new year with a new build series. So I'm gonna be putting a ZF6 speed into my 1985 Corvette. So that car is already a manual transmission. It has a Doug Nash four plus three transmission in it. So I got a whole swap kit from a 1995 Corvette. So I'm gonna show you all the parts that I got from just a general, you know, Facebook marketplace sale of someone selling a swap kit and then all the things that I had to get extra to make it work in this car. So I'm gonna to try to cover everything in detail. Even if you have an automatic car and you're gonna swap it over to a manual six speed car, um, I'm gonna to try to go all the little details uh, and things that you may run into. The other thing I probably won't get into is putting the clutch pedal in uh, because it's a stick shift car, it already has it in there, but I will show you what one looks like if you have to buy one. So right now let's go ahead and look at all the hard components and then look at all the new stuff. Okay, so this is pretty much everything that I picked up so it came with transmission, came with pedal assembly, the master cylinder, slave cylinder, and the hard line from the master to the slave. It came with this used clutch here. Definitely don't recommend using the used clutch unless they like just had a brand new one put on or something like that. It's got low miles and it looks like it's in really good condition. Uh, this thing's completely shot. The flywheel on it's completely shot. Um, it's, it's just been sitting forever, so it's all rusted. So I can't use that flywheel anyway, which I'll get into. Uh, it also came with the drive shaft. Now with the ZF transmissions, uh, you need this yoke. Even if you just get this, you'd be okay using your other one if you have a manual car. So this is the most important thing, but I have the whole thing it came with. Uh, and also um, with this support bar too that goes from the trans to the diff. Uh, this is the same that's already in my car, but it came together when I bought all the stuff from the guy. So these are pretty much the hard components that you want to get. You want to make sure you have everything there. The trans will have the shifter in it. Uh, there's a couple things that this trans was missing, which I'll show you that I had to get, but everything's pretty much there. So you have all these hard components because sometimes it's a little harder to get everything individually. So a lot of times people will put these up and you can buy everything that you need. And obviously you're gonna have to get a couple of new things, uh, which we'll get into. But right now, these are the hard components that you mainly wanna get as much as a package deal. Even if a guy had a parts car and you had to pull everything, make sure you get everything stick shift related off the car, just so you have it, just in case. Keep all the bolts, all that kind of stuff. This didn't really come with any of the hardware, but I pretty much have everything on the car or I'll be able to source it, which isn't a big deal. Uh, so. That's that for here, and then I want to talk a little bit about the transmission. Okay, so this is a ZF6 speed. So they're from 89 to 1996. There's two generations of them. There's a black tag, 89 to like midway through 93, and then late 93 to 96 is a blue tag. This is a blue tag out of a 95 Corvette. The first generation black tags are known to be a little bit noisier. They can handle, I think, 450 foot pounds of torque, where these ones have a different cut gear, they're quieter, and can only handle 400 foot pounds of torque. Something like that. So this is the trans that I got, mainly. I'm not picky either one. It was pretty much whatever one came up. I guess they both have their pros and cons, uh, but this is the one that I got. And uh, I would also check like the mileage and stuff like that and to make sure you have a good source where you're getting your used parts because new or used parts, you really want to make sure that it's coming from somewhere good or the guy knows, especially with something like a gearbox, that it was working fine. Maybe it was out of a lower mile car. This car supposedly yeah, had only had like 70,000 miles on it. Um, so we will say it is a gamble, but you know, you kind of trust the sellers and that they weren't blown up. Uh, but they're, they're pretty pretty decent, reliable transes. So when you get this, uh, this thing had a couple things missing, like uh, I was telling you, which I'll get into here, but you'll make sure that you have the bell housing. Inside here, there is the clutch fork. So when you push your um, slave cylinder in, it engages the clutch, that's already in there. There is a throw out bearing in there, but it's something you also have to replace and get new, which we'll get into. Uh, so this trans here, it is missing this top boot here. So that was one extra thing that I had to get. But yours, if you get one, should have this on here. And this is, goes like that and covers up the shifter there. The other thing too, these things have a breather tube. It goes from here, I just have a bolt in here, 
and it it's maybe like a foot long and it has a breather vent on the top of it. So this didn't have it. So I was having trouble finding that. So I kind of improvised and got my own. I have like a banjo style bolt here and then this really small little breather tube. And I'm gonna use a piece of 3 8 hose and hook that up and that'll work just as good as the, you know, the OEM Corvette piece. So that's one little thing too. But like I said, if you get everything, it should have all those little things. But they were just, when I was doing the research, they were the things that were missing off of this one. So two generations of Z06 speeds. They have this mount back here, so you can put the transmission to differential mount on there. There's just two holes that go through here. So that makes it easy when you're putting one of these in a C4 other than you know using a different type of five speed that doesn't have this but i'm sure there are adapter brackets and stuff made but this is pretty much a direct replacement for that chassis okay so since i'm not really going to be getting into this in the series i figured i'll just address this now since we're going over components uh, and this is the whole clutch pedal assembly and the actual master cylinder so i'm not sure what you have to do with the brake pedal itself um, if anybody has information on that i think you have to swap it out uh, but comment below just you know if somebody else needs to uh, get that information the brake pedal that's in an auto car i believe is a little bit bigger like a rectangle where in the stick shift cars it is like roughly that size so they both of the pedals can sit next to each other so you may have to change over the actual brake pedal itself but that i'm not 100 percent sure on but if you're adding this you can see this just bolts up to the car there is a rod here and a clip and that's where your master cylinder goes in from under the hood on the firewall and this goes inside the car like this and it clips onto there and then this bolts in together and there should already be a hole in through the firewall on the cars so that should be there and you're pretty much sandwiching these together hooking that clip in there and making that work just like that and then you add your hose down to the actual slave cylinder on this as well is a neutral safety switch um, which you can hook up to your car, obviously, so you can't start the car um, without pushing in the clutch pedal. So this is actually with the assembly as well. So there are just a couple little things that you're going to have to do if your car is automatic. Okay, so now I'm going to get into all the other things that I had to get new. So I'm going to start off with the flywheel. So if you have an 84 and an 85 car, the back of the engine is different, I guess where the crank is or something, and you can't use that flywheel from the ZF transmission. So Fidenza, and I believe I got this from Zip Corvette, uh, they make a flywheel conversion for 84 and 85 cars. So another thing, you know, with the 84 and 85 cars, there's always like one little thing that they don't make or it's complicated or you're going to spend more money on it. And this is the item for the six speed swap kit is, is the flywheel. This thing was roughly $800 and pretty much you need this if you want to put a ZF six speed in your car. So it is a nice component. That's what that looks like. It's aluminum. It is a single mass flywheel where the original one is a dual mass flywheel. So that is that and it comes with the mounting hardware and pretty much that's it. So that's pretty much, if you have 84, 85 car, you need to get this uh, flywheel no matter what you do. So that was one thing that I had to get there to make it work. And what matches up with that is the stock ZF six speed clutch. So I went with pretty much a factory replacement, which is a Luke uh, clutch. So ZF is German, if you didn't know it, and Luke isn't. So I see a lot of this in my BMW parts business. There's a lot of parts made by Luke, and a lot of the trans are made by ZF, and they are good components. So putting this more of like a factory replacement clutch in is pretty much what I wanted to do. Uh, the car is probably not gonna make it a ton of power where I need like a performance clutch. So this is pretty much all I really need. This comes with a throw out bearing, and then it also comes with alignment tool and a, uh, a pilot bushing. Instead of a bearing, it has a bushing. Instructions. And then this is the clutch. 
clips here. And it's pretty much the exact one that I got that was the original one out of the park. So, it's that. But I'm sure there are different clutches available if you wanted, you know, something more high performance, but you just need to get one from whatever Denver car that you got the transmission out of. And that'll work with the new uh, Fidenza flywheel. So, clutch flywheel, and then, the only other thing I got new was the slave cylinder. I'm gonna to try to use my master cylinder, but we'll get to that once we start taking things apart. So I got a brand new slave cylinder there, which we're gonna use. And then I showed you my boot and my breather. And the other thing too, which I don't know right now if it's necessary or not, but I wanted to get it just so I had it. So ATC sells this piece here. Or you could get one that's already cut out of a stick shift car because the ZF has uh, an area of the tunnel which you actually have to cut out where the linkage goes. So this is a little patch panel made out of fiberglass that you have to mount in the car. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but I figured let me just get this and see if we really need it. Uh, and if we do, it's a nice clean patch panel. So that's that. I probably will be doing on a U joint. I'll probably be putting a rear main seal in the car once we get the old transmission out. Um, like I said, this is mainly just a component overview right now to see the things that you need. I may run into a couple things that I'm, you know, I will bring up and show you as we're going along, taking all this stuff out of the car. All right, so that's a wrap for today's video. So I mainly wanted to go over all the components today, uh, used parts, new parts, to kind of give you an idea of what you need if you want a ZF six speed swap your car. So next week we will get it jacked up and start tearing into it. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Thanks for watching.